I am Chef Carrie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my new recipe for a raspberry cashew cream stuffed French toast. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to set out one cup of cashews in a cup of water to soak for an hour. Um, this just helps get rid of any of the uh, residual around the cashews. It helps release the oxalates and phylates in the nuts, which are the anti-nutrients, and it also softens them up to make it more creamy consistency. So I have a colander and I'm going to strain out the excess water and just give them a quick rinse. And once you've done that, you're ready to put in your food processor. So it's already pre-measured one cup. The next thing I'm going to do is mix in the raspberries. So you're going to do a cup of raspberries as well. And you can use any type of fruit you want for this recipe. Pears work really well. Um, I've made it with strawberries before. Um, I just in particular really like raspberries, so that's why I chose that for this recipe. So once you have your measuring cut filled up, I'm going to add that. And then the next thing we're going to add is one banana. And then the last thing is we're going to add some vanilla powder. You can also add regular uh, vanilla. I just prefer the flavor of this in the recipe. So you're going to do one teaspoon of that. I do order that online because it's kind of hard to find in stores. So once you have all that in here, you're going to go ahead and blend everything together. Okay, it's going to be a little loud. I apologize. inside the French toast once you have the French toast cooked. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and the next thing I'm going to do is prep the French toast batter. Um, so I'm going to take two eggs and a mixing bowl. Followed by one quarter of a cup of almond milk. You can also use any other type of milk, like rice milk or soy milk if you prefer, even dairy milk. I just uh, really prefer almond milk when I cook. So I'm going to add that in, followed by half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And I can't get this open. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. New bottle. Okay. <laughs> Add that in there. I feel like watching me wrestle a bottle open. <laughs> You're gonna mix that together by hand. And once the cinnamon is all mixed in, that's when you know it's ready. So I have that ready to go. And then today I'm gonna be using Udi's gluten-free multigrain bread to make the French toast. So I have my burner here. It's very hot. And Turned up. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil to the pan for cooking. Okay, and then I'm going to make some French toast. So, I'm going to dip some bread in there. You're going to make sure it's fully submerged. This makes about six servings of French toast. I'm going to do a couple here just to give you an idea of what it takes to make the stuffed French toast. So, once you've got all the oil in the pan, you're going to take your bread and I'm going to put it on there to cook. Okay. And while that's cooking, I'm just going to move some of this out of the way. That way, once it's all ready to go, I have a clean workspace to make the French toast. To put all, all of it together. Okay. So out of the way, I've already pre-cut up some figs, some strawberries, some blueberries, some banana, and also um, some pecans. I really like putting nuts right on the top and then also sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon on the finished product. So that's cooking. Perfect. Plate here, ready to go. Okay. And take some 
about a minute or two per side. You want each of the sides to brown ever so lightly. Um, so we're going to get that all cooked up. Perfect. Sorry, this is going to take just a minute. Okay. Perfect, that side's done, so I'm gonna start soaking the next piece of French toast in the batter. That going. Perfect. Okay. And of course, when you're using the regular stove, it'll go a lot quicker. I bought this so that I could be facing the camera, so I apologize, it takes a little bit longer to cook. Okay, that one's all ready. So I'm going to put it on the side here and start on my second piece. Again, this makes about six pieces, maybe more or less, just depending on how big the bread is. This bread comes in a little bit smaller slices, so um, you can make even more than six pieces, I think. So you have one piece of French toast here, the other one's cooking. So I'm going to start putting on the cream sauce on this piece here. You want to very liberally apply it. That's what's going to be in between the two layers. Perfect. And then that's almost done. Okay. All right. Once it's cooked all the way through, then we get to do the fun part and top it. here that's when you can use the toppings so I'm going to top it with some blueberries some big slices and do some strawberries some bananas and I'm sprinkle some pecans again you can use almonds or whatever type of nuts you want macadamia nuts are really good and then I'm just going to use a little bit of cinnamon on top and there you have it piece of stuffed French toast for your breakfast. Um, for the recipe, please visit my, my website at chefcarry.com and thank you so much for watching.